A very important problem in matrix algebra is called the eigenvalue problem. Um, the eigenvalue problem will be essential in solving uh, certain types of differential equations. So what is the eigenvalue problem? The eigenvalue problem is a matrix A times a, a column vector x equal lambda, a scalar, a number, times x. So if you have an equation like this, ax equals lambda x, that's called an eigenvalue problem. Um, the matrix A is given. And the question here is, can you find values of lambda and corresponding uh, column vectors x that can satisfy this equation given the matrix A? So how do you solve the eigenvalue problem? Um, what you do is a slightly uh, tricky, but um, is actually straightforward. Uh, you write this as ax equals lambda, and then you introduce the identity matrix i here in front of x. So remember, i in the 2 by 2 case is just 1, 0, 0, 1. So i times x will just be x. And then you can uh, manipulate this expression, and you end up with a minus lambda i times x, you can distribute this equal to 0. OK, so you just pull lambda i x on the left, and you factor out the x on the right. Uh, this is an equation. Um, you can solve this for x, right? All you need to do is take the inverse of this matrix, a minus lambda i, uh, multiply on the left by that, and multiply 0 on the left by that. But multiplication of a matrix times a 0, the 0 here is a column vector, will always give you a 0 column vector. So if a minus lambda i was an invertible matrix, the only solution to this equation would be x being the 0 column vector, 0, 0, for 2 by 2 case, for a. But that's not a very interesting solution to the eigenvalue problem. X equals 0, 0 doesn't tell us any eigenvalues or eigenvectors. Um, so we don't want this matrix to be invertible. That means the determinant of this matrix has to be 0. So we write the determinant of A minus lambda I equals 0. This is called the characteristic equation characteristic equation uh, of the matrix A, OK? Um, that's basically the essence of the eigenvalue problem. In order to determine the lambdas such that AX equals lambda X, you need to solve this equation. So what does this equation look like for the 2 by 2 matrix? So we have the determinant of a matrix here. So if we take our uh, capital A matrix to be A, B, C, D, then A minus lambda I, lambda I just has lambda on the diagonals, right? Lambda, 0, 0, lambda. So A minus lambda I says we subtract lambda from the diagonal elements of A. So this is the determinant of the matrix A minus lambda, B, C, and D minus lambda. OK, this 2 by 2 ma uh, uh, matrix. So uh, remember, the determinant is you multiply the diagonal elements, A minus lambda times D minus lambda. And then you subtract the off-diagonal elements multiplied, minus BC. OK? We can do this multiplication. This is equal to lambda squared. And then we have the cross term 
minus a lambda plus minus d lambda, so minus a plus d lambda, and then we have the scalar, which is a d minus b c, so plus a d minus b c. And uh, if you want to remember this formula, this would be lambda squared minus a plus d is just the sum of the diagonal elements of A. That has a name. That's called the trace of the matrix A times lambda. And then AD minus BC is just the determinant of the matrix. So determinant of A. So lambda squared minus trace A times lambda plus determinant A. And that's supposed to be equal to zero for the characteristic equation, okay? <clears throat> so solving uh, ax equals lambda x, here we're solving for lambda. Lambda are the eigenvalues of this equation. What we need to solve is the characteristic equation, determinant of a minus lambda i equals zero. When we do that, we get a quadratic equation for lambda. Lambda squared minus the trace of the matrix A, the sum of the diagonal elements, times lambda plus the determinant of A, AD minus BC equals zero. Okay, quadratic equation for lambda. So we get two uh, eigenvalues. We get uh, lambda equal to lambda one, and we get lambda equal to lambda two. Okay two eigenvalues for a two by two matrix. Okay, the eigenvectors then are the x's. So given lambda equals lambda one, what is the corresponding x associated with that? We call that the eigenvectors. So to, to determine the eigenvectors, we do one at a time. We say lambda equal to lambda one, and then we need to solve the equation. We can work from here, a minus lambda i x equals zero. We're looking for the eigenvector associated with lambda one. So we can write a minus lambda one i times v one equals zero. Zero here is a two by one column vector of zeros. And this gives us then an equation for v1, the eigenvector associated with lambda 1. You'll have to work some examples to see how this, this actually works in practice, but there'll be uh, plenty of examples in the differential equations course. Um, it, if you look at this equation, you see you can multiply v1 by a constant and still satisfy this equation. So V1 is not uniquely uh, determined from this equation, but it's determined up to a multiplicative constant. So that's the first eigenvector. The second eigenvector means we do the same thing. So A minus lambda 2i times V2 equals the zero column vector. Okay, so let me uh, review. In matrix algebra, a very important problem is called the eigenvalue problem. Uh, it's given by AX equals lambda X. Um, to solve that problem means that given a matrix A, we need to calculate its eigenvalues, lambda, and the associated eigenvectors denoted here by X. Okay, Though so we'll call that V. To do that, we manipulate this equation slightly, and we end up that in order for there to be non-trivial solutions, solutions other than x as being the zero column vector, we have to have the determinant of a minus lambda i equals a zero. If a is a two by two matrix, this is just a quadratic equation. If a is three by three, it would be a cubic equation, etc. Here we just need to deal with two by two matrices. And that's the equation lambda squared minus the trace of A times lambda plus the determinant of A equals zero. A quadratic equation uh, 
can have real roots, complex conjugate roots, or uh, repeated roots. Uh, one would have to deal with those cases separately. But let's just say there are two roots, lambda 1 and lambda 2. If you want to find the eigenvectors, you need to solve these equations for the eigenvectors v1 and v2. And uh, the easiest way to see how that's done is to work some examples. I'm Jeff Chasnov. Thanks for watching.